Good morning, guys. Well, it's kind of afternoon now. This is my second attempt at this video. The first one I did was this morning. And um, I didn't have enough room on my tablet because I'm out of data on my phone. So I decided to just check in, you know, to wish you guys a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holidays today. And I had to delete stuff. I had to clear caches. And so I was deleting stuff and somehow deleted my music, all of my Christmas music. So there won't be music with this video. And uh, the video, I don't know where it went. I disappeared. So I decided uh, um, after you know a moment of anger to just redo it. So here I am. Uh, so it's the afternoon. I don't even know what time it is, like 12 o'clock? Let me see. It's 12.50. Wow, it's 12.51. It's almost 1 o'clock, guys. So this morning we went to, well, I've been up since like 2 a.m., it did fall back to sleep for a little bit. And then Owen had me up at 5. I put them out around 5.30. And uh, yeah, Owen got um, his toy. So I've been hearing, I don't even know where it went. I've been hearing a squeak all morning. Where'd your toy go, Owen? And the older one's got some treats. Violet's in her, her yearly Christmas dress. I'll have to show you that in a minute. And Elliot has his Christmas sweater on with a reindeer on it. Um, so this morning we went over to my friend Artie's granddaughter's house and watched her open presents. It was so sweet. She's six years old and she's the one that was here last night. She didn't feel well and she wasn't even excited about presents last night. She's been sick on and off and she had a couple Christmas parties yesterday. She was just run down and, uh, so it was nice to see her open presents this morning. I miss that with little kids. I do. And all I wanted to be was a mom and now that my kids are all grown up and, off on their own. And I got a text from one of them this morning. So I texted him. I said, uh, phone call? Question mark? So I did talk to him. Um, and my youngest daughter, Daisy, she got home safely last night. World traveler. She went to, with her boyfriend and his parents and his brother to um, London, where his dad's family's from. Um, his mom, well, Garrett's grandma, is in her 80s. So they went to see her. And I'm glad Daisy got to meet her. And hopefully... She gets to go to their wedding someday. Um, and then they went to Amsterdam and Paris. So they came, they were there 11 days. So they came home, well, nine, two days traveling. Um, so they came home last night to Denver area. And uh, so I just got off the phone with her now. She filled me in about everything that she ate. She loved all the food. She had um, game pie, which the grandma called a country pie. Um, it had different types of bird. It had pheasant, partridge, and and pigeon in it and my daughter loved it uh, pheasant used to be one of my favorites when I was younger my dad was a hunter and I remember he died when I was nine he was only 36 from a heart attack and I only have a handful of memories maybe a dozen and I remember coming back with him once from hunting and he was cleaning the pheasant in the sink and I was little and he let me I was stand up in a chair at the sink play with the gizzard and all the little pebbles inside it it's just that stuck in my head and uh yeah, so, you know, I miss eating game birds. Uh, we had a, um, she was an English setter, I mean, Irish setter, boxer mix, and she was a fabulous hunting dog. Uh, that was my dad's bird dog. And, uh, yeah, I miss all that. And if, if he hadn't died, I'd probably be a great hunter. I mean, he used to take me to the range all the time, and, but, you know, other plants. But anyway, um, but she she loved the food and she loved the wine. They went to um, they're supposed to go on a wine tasting in Paris. They were on this like tourist thing, like see the city. I figure what it's called. Uh, you pay for it, an app, and it's, there's an app, and that, that messed them all up. They were lost and everything. But they're supposed to go on a wine tasting, and uh, that was canceled. So they ended up just going to a restaurant and getting like um, um, kind of, I guess it's like a plank of beer. There was three different wines, so they each tasted each wine, the four of them. And whatever one they liked, you know, they bought. So my daughter ended up buying the most expensive at $20 a glass. But she said it was really good. I said, see, that's a, that's a memory. So now you know that that's the kind of wine you liked when you were in France. And she had a lot of Bordeaux, which she really liked. And uh, she said she had a beautiful time. Just, and she loved to go back. But she loved the food. And I was so, so thankful because I've always been one. Uh, we've always eaten... Um, different foods and I've always made my kids try different foods whenever when we, we moved all over the country I've been a nomad way before I actually went on the road by myself uh, my three younger ones and I have moved all over this country since I left Jersey in 99 and 
I've always had them try different foods. You know, so Louisiana, they've eaten, um, she had frog legs while she was in, in Europe. But she remember having frog legs in Louisiana, but they were fried. In Europe, they came in a garlic butter sauce. That sounds really good. And she's had alligator down in Louisiana before, which is absolutely delicious. And pork, fried pork runs, cracklins, and just like the other good foods. And she took culinary school for two years, so she's had different types of food. And my kids weren't afraid to trace, try stuff. So, you know, her, her mind was opened when she went over there to try different foods. So I'm glad that they had a great time. And I got a message. Well, I messaged Garrett's mom, Daisy's boyfriend, this morning. They've been together five years, and there's no ring on it. So uh, I messaged her, his mom, and she wrote back to me. She said, yeah, no ring yet. So when Daisy said something this morning, I, I yelled, and Garrett knew exactly what I was yelling for. And Because uh, she, I think it was a comment she said. And when he's ready, he'll do it. But, I mean, come on. It's five years. Just, you don't even have to buy a ring. Just ask her to marry you. That's all. That's all we want as mothers. The two of us aren't getting any younger, even though she's younger than I am. I'm not getting any younger. I don't want to be pushed down the aisle in a wheelchair at my daughter's wedding. I don't want my grandkids to say, oh, do we have to go to Oma's house? It smells like an old lady. You know, I want to be able to still enjoy my grandkids when it comes to my three younger ones, and especially my youngest daughter. You know, my oldest grandson is 27, and uh, the youngest one is 17. Yeah, no, the younger one, well, my son has four. The youngest, they're little. He has the youngest ones. He's two. He just turned two. Maverick. I mean, not Malcolm. He was supposed to be Owen, but I told my son, nope. When he told me he was having a boy, I said, nope, that's my dog's name. Well, you don't have a puppy yet. You know that's going to be my puppy's name when I get one. I picked it for years, and it was supposed to be a girl's name, but I ended up with a boy puppy, and I was going to name him Owen, and that's where Owen came from. So when Cole called me and said they're having a boy, so what do you name him? Owen. I'm like, no, you're not, unless you want, you know. So his name is Malcolm. So I won that battle. But, yeah, that's my youngest, too. But I, I want to be able to, you know, I don't want to be the old grandma. I mean, I know I'm getting up there, but come on. But anyway, I'm rambling on about that, aren't I? But anyway, I hope everybody out there is having a wonderful day, that you're with friends and family. And if you're not, I just hope that you know that, you know, there are people that care about you. I care about all of you that watch my channel. And I'm so thankful. Um, I'm kind of stuck at um, the number I'm at, I've lost some people, I gained some, but I never get any farther. But maybe eventually when I do get my butt back busy on the road and go do stuff. Um, but I am so grateful that you guys have stuck around. I am. And um, let me show you guys the pets here. Come here, Elliot. Come on. Hold on. Here's Elliot in his, his Christmas sweater. The oldies got some dog treats this morning. Right, buddy? Hmm? Yeah. Let me get Violet for you. Come here, girlfriend. Oh, and stay. Here's her little Christmas dress. She's had this dress, oh my goodness, for years. She'll be she'll be 15 Valentine's Day. She's my Valentine's Day baby. So she's had this, I think her first Christmas she got this. She wears it once a year on Christmas, right? She did wear it this year a couple days. I didn't know I couldn't pull her other ones out and I thought this was pretty and since she's getting older let's get some use out of it right I don't know where the cat is come here on <coughs> oh stop it come here on come here come say come say Merry Christmas come here here's my Owen right he got his toys just one's a squeaker and one's one's around like a ring and he doesn't like it get up there stop it I don't know where Gideon is Oh, here he is. He's back here. Want to say Merry Christmas, Gideon? He got some treats, too. Right, my huh, buddy? So they were all happy today. Yeah, this is what I've been hearing since 5.30 this morning. You want it? Well, guys, I will let you go and stop rambling. Uh, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, whatever you celebrate. From my tiny home to yours. And I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.